It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. We're almost <laughs> at the weekend. But as they say, the show must go on and that's what we're doing right here. We're bringing you the latest from Bollywood and social media. I'm Manish. And I'm Sagari Kachetri. We'll do a lot of things in the show. But first of all, let's look at today's top trending stories. Par. Shah Rukh Khan has shared his personal life on social media. Pe apne share karne par diya apna point of view. Saif Ali Khan has done Kabir Singh film par react. An FIR lodged against 49 celebrities including Konkana Sen Sharma, Anurag Kashyap and many more for their open letter to the Prime Minister. And today's Planet Bollywood ke segment will take audience react to your top comments. Well, yesterday on PB Audience Reacts, we asked you guys a bunch of questions and you have given us many answers. And we're going to take your top comments right here, right now. Our first story was about the clash between War, Saira and Joker. And you guys have sent in a lot of love for all three films. The first comment comes in from Shivali Goswami who says Joker is hands down the winner. It is a cinematic masterpiece. On the other hand, War is a one-time watch packed with ample amounts of entertainment according to our Indian audiences. Well, Vikram Chandra said that Saira Narsima Reddy made around 85 crores gross on its first day. Zoom has reported wrong collections, corrected Zoom. Well, we'd like to clarify here that we always talk about net collections, which are collected in India. Because if we talk worldwide collections, gross collection, ki baat kare, first of all, it takes time to come out. Right. We need to be accurate on the numbers and that competition is completely different. Right. So we focus on uh, box office collections all over India, which is net collection. And that Saira Narsimha Reddy has collected approximately 45 crores and that's correct. और दूसरी स्टोरी जो हमने डिस्कस की थी वो थी बाला फिल्म जो आयुष्मान खुराना की है और उजड़ा चमन जो सनी सिंह का ट्रेलर हुआ रिलीज और उस पर काफी कमेंट्स आए जहां साहिब निरोब ने कहा आई एम अ ह्यूज आयुष्मान फैन बट आई मस्ट से सनी इज लुकिंग मोर कन्विंसिंग देन आयुष्मान एज अ बोल्ड मैन एंड उजड़ा चमन ट्रेलर लुक्स फैंटास्टिक आई होप बोथ फिल्म डज वेल वी होप दैट टू वी होप दैट टू and then we have Jadul Islam who's become quite a regular feature on this segment and he says uh, they may have uh, the same subject but I'm not sure if it is a similar story. I will wait uh, until the trailer comes out. Normally Aishman sir does something uh, very new and uh, interesting so we'll have to wait and watch. Yes, we will have to wait and watch at the end of the day. And then we talked about Akshay Kumar's first look uh, from the film Lakshmi Bomb. Uh, we thought he was looking fantastic and we right. are waiting for your responses and you have a lot of responses. And Samir Sheikh says uh, in, in, in the whole of Bollywood, Akshay Kumar is the only actor who always experiments with his films and by doing this movie, he, has, uh, he is going to set a high benchmark no one can do this role better than Akshay Kumar. Uh, and he goes on to comment Akshay Kumar and how good he is and uh, we agree. Absolutely. To some extent, yeah. Vahi the original Tamil film was so funny despite being a dubbed version. Imagine how funny it's going to be when Akshay plays the role in Hindi version and that's what we were all waiting for. So those were our top comments from yesterday's show. Make sure you do comment on this show as well so that we take it on Monday. Well, social media is a platform where everyone has an opinion and so does the celebs. Lekin, Shah Rukh Khan thinks otherwise. At a recent launch event, he actually spoke at length about this. Check it out. You know, here was this young lady and she was talking about how she used the internet and social media uh, to talk about uh, what she was going through. I'm anti that. I, I don't believe in this. I think it's completely wrong to do it. I don't think one should do it at all. And uh, I don't do it. I don't go and... Uh, you know, think even even sometimes when people tell me you're an actor, if you make a comment on this, it will bring a change. No, I don't believe in it. There are some things which are personal, you keep it to themselves. I don't agree with her, but when she started speaking, at least I'm being able to see the point of view. Well, Shah Rukh Khan, they're speaking candidly about social media. But our question for you guys is, do you think Bollywood celebrities should speak more openly about social issues or not? Do write in and let us know using the hashtag. Sagarika, what do you think Shah Do you think uh, Shah Rukh is uh, making sense over here? Uh, well, he is in his own way. Hmm. Uh, I understand he comes from an old school where the internet or social media was not And the hmm. evolution we've seen in the past few years, more so a decade. Hmm. Uh, to, uh, ये सारे जो यंगस्टर्स हैं बॉलीवुड में मनीष उन्होंने ये ट्रेंड शुरू किया है दैट दे आर ऑल ओपन देयर आर इंस्टा स्टोरीज नाउ वेयर इट लास्ट फॉर 24 आवर्स दे कनेक्ट विद द ऑडियंस दे टॉक अबाउट सोशल इश्यूज एंड द यंगस्टर्स लाइक वरुण धवन 
अर्जुन कपूर चाहे वो रणवीर सिंह हो दे ऑल स्पीक अप ओपनली राइट आई मीन दे डू स्पीक ओपनली हमने देखा है कि देर आर फ्यू वेटरन सेलिब्रिटीज जैसे कि अमिताभ बच्चन जो कुछ सोशल इश्यूज पे बात करते हैं बट ही स्टेयर्स यू नो मोस्ट ऑफ दम स्टे क्लियर ऑफ यू नो थिंग्स विच आर कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल विच अंडरस्टैंडेबली सो क्योंकि उनका एक यू नो वर्ड कैन बी मिस इंटरप्रिटेड एंड मिस यूज एंड यू नो आई काइंड ऑफ अग्री विद शाहरुख खान क्योंकि विद अ सेलिब्रिटी स्टेटस लाइक ही हैज एवरी वर्ड दैट समन लाइक हिम सेज विल बी एंड कैन बी यूज अगेंस्ट हिम सो देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यू नो फाइन ट्यूनिंग दैट हैज टू बी डन एंड एवरी हैज टू बी सो पोलिटिकली करेक्ट एंड बिकम्स एक्ज बट यू नो मनी जहां पर उनके वर्ड्स को नेगेटिव तरीके से ले सकते हैं मिस इंटरप्रेट कर सकते हैं वहीं पर आई थिंक देर वाइज वर्ड्स कैन ऑल्सो ब्रिंग अबाउट अ चेंज ही सेड इन द इंटरव्यू ही डिड से इन हिज बाइट दैट आई डोंट बिलीव दैट माई वर्ड कैन ब्रिंग अबाउट अ चेंज बट पीपल लाइक हिम लाइक टेन पीपल लाइक शाहरुख खान लाइक इफ इट्स शाहरुख सलमान आमिर ऑल दीज ए लिस्टर्स कम टूगेदर टॉक अबाउट इट लुक एट द फॉलोअर्स दे हैव लुक एट द इन्फ्लुएंस दे हैव एट लीस्ट इफ द टॉकिंग अबाउट अ गवर्नमेंट इशू और इफ द टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी फिल्म इशू दे विल बी हर्ड द वॉइस विल बी हर्ड यस द वॉइस विल बी हर्ड whether it makes a change or not that's what sharuk is saying ki i right. don't think it will make a change because right. the problem is a far deep rooted problem whether it's a, you know problem of uh, you know our management of this country mm. or you know our roads or whatever it may be right. it 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 is a problem that i don't think celebrities can really change but i get what you're saying ki unki awaaz kafi had tak logon ke uh, you know uh, logon ke paas pahunch sakti hai and Jee. it can possibly make a change even if it does change two people out of like a million right because we saw on me to movement mm. uh, me to movement began on a very small scale where uh, a few media houses kind of covered the stories right. but it became actually big when people like sonam kapoor people like richard chadda swara bhaskar farhan akhtar farah khan yes. they came out in the open and took a stand priyanka chopra yes. and that's when the big names got attached to it and that's how the me to wave actually came in india that is true that is true yeah there are causes i mean i'm not taking away from yeah. the fact that it's social media is extremely powerful but it's also extremely uh, Uh, you know sometimes it gets frivolous which uh, is my opinion बट शाहरुख खान की मतलब ये ये बात हमें समझ आती है कि शाहरुख खान थोड़े यू नो ही कम्स फ्रॉम अ जनरेशन वेयर सोशल मीडिया डिंट एक्जिस्ट एंड यू नो लेट्स नॉट टेक अवे फ्रॉम द फैक्ट कि इन इन द पास बिफोर सोशल मीडिया शाहरुख खान हैज स्पोकन अबाउट इश्यूज ही हैज हैड यू नो डन इंटरव्यूज ही हैज स्पोकन अबाउट यू नो द थिंग्स लाइक द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ स्मोकिंग ही हैज बिन वेरी कैंडेड अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट ही इज अन एबल टू डू टू क्विट स्मोकिंग एंड अ होल बराज ऑफ अदर इशूज दैट ही हैज फेस्ड यू नो वीव सीन इट इन वेरियस इंटरव्यूज ओवर दर ओवर टाइम So I think he has voiced his opinion it's just that I think also it's a little bit of a technology situation jahan par you know uh, people uh, of a certain generation and a certain age are not as comfortable uh, using social media I mean I think I think to each his own we still love Shahrukh Khan <laughs> irrespective of whether he has an Absolutely. opinion on social causes or not uh, he's a out and out entertainer and that's what he does best Right is interview mein waise unhone ek aur khulasa kiya to all the Shahrukh Khan fans uh, who were actually wait thing for him to uh, sign a film here's some news for you actually i i spoke to sanjay gaurav and uday and i said this is the platform where i want to announce it <laughs> <laughs> this is it yahi aunga aur yahi sabko bataunga aur ab dekhiye meri agli film aane wali film ka trailer isn't it ted talks the <laughs> movie <laughs> main abhi, abhi yaar soch raha hu uh, main thoda waqt le raha hu i'm i'm working on two three scripts and inshallah as soon as they are ready i'm ready uh, because most of the people who i'm working with are busy so main inshallah khud announce karunga aur uh, jab tak rumors jitne chal rahe hain uh, some of them have given me ideas yeah there was there was one film people said i'm going to do tarzan and jane wo tarzan ka role karne ke liye mujhe bahut dil kiya but yeah i'm 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 i think inshallah another month or two i'll uh, figure out the time and everything and then do it yeah. Well that's great news for all Shah Rukh Khan fans uh, the announcement will come very soon he's reading three scripts and uh, wo bahut hi jald uh, batayenge ki kaun si film ki script unhe pasand aayi hai and which film he's doing uh, very soon so this is great news In a recent exclusive interview with Zoom Saif Ali Khan shared his pointers and thoughts about the film Kabir Singh and the impact it has had on society let's take a look at this interview and we'll talk about it right after No I've never been aware of the social or political or you know the ramifications or the effect of this role on society i've never thought of that i've only thought of the dramatic potential and the interest in this story i've never thought whether uh, and maybe i should have i mean there was a film i was offered you know like batla house 
but somebody said, oh, good you didn't do it, you know, because it's kind of anti-Muslim, is what I heard. But I never thought that. I never yeah. thought, I don't think in terms, that's not where I go as an actor. Just like, you know, can I, do I want to do this or not? So if something is misogynistic or something, I think it depends on whether it just turns me on as a script or not. And if someone's making it, I mean, of course, if it's blatantly socially irresponsible, maybe it would not appeal to me. Maybe, you know, or maybe the situations that guy is in would not be situations I would enjoy performing. So okay. then that's why we're all different, you know. And, and then you probably say that, you know, can we make those changes? Or I don't want to do this because I, I don't want to wake up in the morning and come there and, and do this, yeah. you know. But if the entire country laps up something and they love it, it makes you think that, you know, what are we doing? And, um, and are we making, I mean, are we making the right kind of ent entertainment? And should we be preaching or should we give the people what they want? I don't know. I mean, these guys who have made it will be laughing all the way to the bank. I, agree. I feel like the, the glorification part of it and there's no sort of, in simpler words, punishment. I think the audience ultimately decides, you know, there are certain things. I remember when Spike Lee made that film, Old Boy. So when there's an incestuous scene between a father and daughter, nobody wants to see that and the film doesn't, doesn't run. So people won't make it mm. because that's, you know, kind of disgusting and people were like, that's yeah. not happening. So the audience draws the line where they say, oh God, no, no, we don't want to watch this. But if they do want to watch it, then there's a guy who'd be willing to do that, you know. Um, the producer would be willing to make the money for sure. And the actor might be excited to cross that line and do something Whatever, but there is a satisfaction yeah. um, that's important when it comes to movies where people have to relate and root for and support certain characters and justice has to be done. Mm. Or, you know, Aristotle called it what, catharsis. Absolutely. Right? It has to happen. That it you have to, to watch it and say, ah, this, this guy oh. should have got this or that guy should not get this. I mean, the you male know? stalker is almost a genre for Indian cinema. I mean, you know, it's like... Uh, the obsessive lover Correct. and the unloved lover, it's that quiet, you know, poor chap and, and somehow it's always been successful mm. and, you know, Shah Rukh Khan made his career on it in the beginning mm. and so people loved it. Well, that was Saif Ali Khan, very articulate, precise and clear on what his point of view is. But I want to ask the audience, do you agree with Saif? Does the Indian audience talking per based films really like it? And does it make it in Bollywood's talking per based film? Do let us know using our hashtag below. Manish, what do you think? Well, what do I think? Wow. Okay, so we're going back to Kabir Singh as a conversation again. Mm -hmm. Okay, and of course, like we, like you said, very uh, uh, clearly, Saif is so articulate and he puts his point across so well. Now, there are so many things ki unho, jo unho ne kaha hai, which uh, have resonated really well with me, at least. Starting with the fact ki, yes, there are films like this that are being made. Bazigar is not an original concept or wo matlab kisi aur film ke upar, uh, based hai and it yeah. has been copied from somewhere else. But the audiences have loved it. And we've seen this through time. You know, audiences have loved films like this and uh, and that and that is the real question ki why is why are audiences loving it you know what is happening out there in people's minds ki wo log, uh, ki, ki logo ko ye film mein pasand hai. now uh, I'll just share a personal experience with you I have done a show on uh, a web show on uh, which is pride pride primarily and predominantly based on stalking. But it's the other way around the guy is not stalking the girl the girl is stalking the guy. Hmm. So in this case we faced a lot of criticism where people said ki aap aise shows kaise bana sakte hain how can you show a woman in such a light maine is show pe bhi kafi baar kaha hai ki cinema and filmmaking is all a reflection of life hmm. now whether it impacts society and uh, ch changes people's social perspective is uh, you know uh, a give and take it, it 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 all depends and it's very subjective but this is what we are doing here this is what we're trying to do here is create something that we're seeing in real life and we're trying to depict it it onto a larger screen and what is happening with Kabir Singh is actually great right now. Right, see, uh, we're not only uh, talking only about Kabir Singh, we're talking mm. about all those films where misogynistic behavior is celebrated, where it's glorified, if you're doing something on women, there are many films in the first place, it's a long list, but uh, this is the thing, Manish, that mm. now, uh, Bollywood films are being made, it's a long list, but now, Bollywood films are being made, it's a long list, but now, People have become more intelligent. Mm. There has been, uh, you know, a rise of social media. The world has become smaller. Mm. Now we realize, 
and I think even uh, actors like uh, Amir Khan have realized it and they regret it for the films they've done. They've done songs uh, where you know खुद को क्या समझती है इतना अकड़ती है those uh, kind of songs which became a super hit back then they realized over the time that we were actually glorifying stalking a girl and we were eve teasing or uh, impact अब कितना पड़ता है बहुत पड़ता है अगर बॉलीवुड और क्रिकेट दो पल से हमारे नेशन के एंड जितना इम्पैक्ट इम्पैक्ट और इन्फ्लुएंस बॉलीवुड का पड़ता है शायद ही किसी और चीज का पड़ता हो तो आई थिंक दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग हैज कम इन आफ्टर मेनी मेनी इयर्स and i think if you realize it like safely can mention that you know he does not think uh, you know kya impact ya a political impact padta hai mm. society mm. par mm. i only think about the dramatic potential it has Correct. but i think it's high time we do start thinking because responsibility lies in the filmmakers and the actors who choose the script as well right i mean we have spoken about it uh, right here yesterday in fact ki uh, you know there is a responsibility of films on society and you know vice versa I agree with that. I'm not taking away from it, but yeah. all that I'm trying to say here is that it is a reflection of life. Filmmaking is a reflection of life. It's like what we see around us is what we project out there. Or ऐसा नहीं कि stalking हमारे देश में या दुनिया में exist नहीं करता. It does exist, and yeah. that is what filmmaking is about. Is trying to show you what does exist. अभी हम लोग अगर 80s के फिल्मों को देखेंगे, then in those films, even like little further back, there were films which were super hits about you know the the mother-in-law suppressing the daughter-in. Yeah. or you know the victim uh, uh, feminine the victim female character and that has changed yeah. because why because these characters were shown it was shown that these women are going through x y and z and right. it was the audience up to the audience to decide whether that was right or wrong now by going and watching a film does not mean that they are uh, you know encouraging or endorsing true, uh, true, uh, true. abuse towards women they're going to watch it so i feel like films like this when they have a larger audience they're impacting a lot more people yeah. there's more conversation session that's generated and the 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 attempt to change society and it's a whole it's a whole multiplier effect but that happens but you know manish i'd like to cut you there mm. i understand when you say it's a reflection of society we're mm. trying to show not that stalking does not exist i mm. agree but if you glorify that in a film that is where the problem lies Correct. you have to show the ramifications you have to show the consequences the stalker faces in mm. the uh, in the film if you're trying to be misogynistic if you're trying to be uh, you're trying to show a patriarchal society mm. you need to show in the end that that does not win. in you know mm. because uh, we are so used to seeing happy endings in our bollywood films and we like to come out smiling from the theaters so we kind of forget jo bhi atyachar us character ne agar kiya hai us movie mein in the end everything's fine so people are gone back happy home no but bhai main keh raha hu ki this is reality there are men like this who exist who will abuse you know their female partners or whoever partners they will abuse their partners and still get away with it scot free mm. and that is exactly what i'm trying to say that a film like kabir singh is a reflection of what happens in society what happens in life and this is what also i'm trying to say ki now look what's happened ek film kabir singh jo release hui thi mm. bahut badi hit bani hai mm. and suddenly there are these conversations about what we are thinking as a people which have started which if you think about it in in a very indirect manner kabir singh has done exactly what it's supposed to do which is create an awareness well that's your perspective i completely disagree i still believe that movie has so much potential i honestly do like the film but i have major problems with a particular scene two or three scenes that are shown mm. the filmmaker could have chosen to show it in a way which still the gist remains the same but it will still impact the society in a positive way khair uh, these are discussions i will i will just end my point over yeah. here by saying once again repeating that filmmaking is uh, the the social impact filmmaking has is a by product of the fact that here we are trying to create and replicate what life shows us that's what i want to say here all right point given uh, lekin saif ali khan ki ek aur baat par uh, main uh, agree nahi karti jahan unhone kaha ki hum wahi dikhate hain jo uh, audience dekhna chahti hai uh, khair mere ko aisa lagta hai ki audience wahi dekhti hai jo aap dikhate ho aur bahut saalon tak logon ne ek cheez dekhi yeah. ab jab 
हमें इतनी आ, एक, इतना एक्सपोजर मिला है वी आर सींग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टेंट आई थिंक पीपल हैव एक्सेप्टेड ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट टू सी समथिंग न्यू एंड वी हैव टू इवन अंडरस्टैंड दैट ऑडियंस हैज बिकम इंटेलिजेंट एंड तो उनकी जो देखने की चाहत है वो उसी तक सीमित नहीं है विच यू थिंक दे वॉन्ट टू सी सो वेल दिस इज अ बिग डिस्कशन विच इज नेवर एंडिंग बट वीड लाइक टू एंड इड विथ यू डू लेट इज नो डू यू अग्री विद सैफ अली खान यूज अश टैग एंड कॉमन बिलो चलिए शो में लेते हैं एक छोटा सा ब्रेक लेकिन ब्रेक के उस पार बाकी है बहुत कुछ खास कम राइट बैक जुलाई 23 को 49 सेलिब्रिटीज इंक्लूडिंग अनुराग कश्यप मनी रत्नम कुंकना सेन इन्होंने पीएम नरेंद्र मोदी को एक लेटर लिखा था कहते हुए द मॉब लिंचिंग ऑफ मुस्लिम्स दलित्स एंड अदर माइनॉरिटीज इन दिस कंट्री मस्ट बी स्टॉप्ड जिस पर एक काउंटर लेटर लिखा था 62 सेलिब्रिटीज ने जहां पर कंगना रनौत मधुर भंडारकर अशोक पंडित जैसे सेलिब्रिटीज ने उसे साइन किया था और उस पर जवाब भी दिया था तो पॉइंट बींग की दोनों ने अपने अपने ओपिनियंस रखे थे उस तक बात ठीक थी राइट एंड देन फाइनली नाउ द न्यूज हैज कम दैट देयर हैज बीन एन एफआईआर दैट हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड अगेंस्ट दीस 49 सेलिब्रिटीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस इन अ लिटिल बिट बट बिफोर दैट वी लाइक टू आस्क यू गाइस द क्वेश्चन डू यू थिंक इट इज इट इज ओके फॉर एन एफआईआर टू बी लॉन्च्ड अगेंस्ट दीस 49 सेलिब्रिटीज फॉर आस्किंग फॉर एन आंसर और रिक्वेस्टिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ दिस कंट्री फॉर समथिंग डू राइट इन एंड लेट अस नो व्हाट यू गाइस थिंक सो सागरी का बेसिकली व्हाट्स हैपेंड इज दिस लोकल एडवोकेट सुधीर कुमार ओजा हैज filed uh, uh, a petition to charge uh, these 49 celebrities uh, with an FIR under the uh, under the allegation that they are tarnishing the image of the country and undermining the impressive performance of the prime minister besides supporting sectionist tendencies and then he goes on later to say that the uh, FIR the police said the FIR was lodged under the sections of the Indian penal code including those relating to sedition public uh, nuisance hurting religious feelings and insulting the intent uh, to provoke breach of peace the letter was written by 49 eminent personalities which we know about now in my opinion this fir is basically uh, being uh, you know in simple words that they are uh, you know going against the country and mm. that's what the, uh, this fir is technically saying right. from my limited understanding and manish is quite unfortunate kyunki ye 49 celebrities ne jahan open letter likha tha unhone kya kaha tha usme unhone sirf apne concerns raise kiye thi ki jahan lynching of muslims dalits and other minorities jahan ho rahi hai un par uh, you know strict actions nahi liye ja rahe unhone kaha ki pm nare नरेंद्र मोदी ने पार्लियामेंट में ऐसे केसेस को जरूर एड्रेस uh, किया है बट दैट इज नॉट इनफ दे आल्सो सेड दैट व्हाट एक्शन हैज एक्चुअली बीन टेकन अगेंस्ट द परपेट्रेटर्स वी स्ट्रांगली फील दैट सच ऑफेंसेस शुड बी डिक्लेयर्ड नॉन बेलेबल एंड दैट एग्जेम्पलरी पनिशमेंट शुड बी मीटेड आउट स्विफ्टली एंड श्योरली दिस इज व्हाट द लेटर सेड ऑन द अदर हैंड जहां 62 सेलिब्रिटीज ने काउंटर अटैक करते हुए काफी सारे सवाल उठाए थे कि अभी आप क्यों ये सवाल उठा रहे हो इतने सारे दूसरे केसेस होते हैं उस पर आपने क्यों बात नहीं की व्हाई यू ओनली talking about uh, lynching of uh, minorities in this country so there was a to and fro there were two different opinions which is great uh, that's what democracy is all about that's what our country is all about lekin is tarike se fir file karna literally gagging your opinion kitna kitne had tak sahi hai ye yeah you know i mean i see i'm sure that uh, at the end of the day this case will eventually come to a conclusion and it will end but what this case is going to do or what this fir is going to do is going to discourage people from voicing their opinions in the future and that is something that is uh, not okay because and again and it's scary because we are a democratic country jaise aapne kaha tha we are a, you know a country where the voice of every individual in this country should be allowed to be heard whether it is pro or against we're not judging that yeah. whether you're right or wrong yeah. is irrespective but the uh, the uh, the the ability to be able to speak is what we are arguing over here also manish we have to remember that these are celebrities that we're talking about who have some power and they can influence people Le- uh, अगर उन पर एफ आई आर लग रहे हैं इमेजिन वॉट अ कॉमन अ कॉमन मैन गोज थ्रू इफ अ कॉमन मैन इवन थिंग्स इन द वाइल्डेस्ट ड्रीम टू सेंड एन ओपन लेटर और रेस इज कंसर्न वॉट कैन हैपन टू दैट कॉमन मैन दिस पर्टिकुलर इंसिडेंट इज गोइंग टू सेट अ प्रेसिडेंट हि Right, so we're only going to have to wait and watch and see, and hopefully uh, we don't stop uh, giving our opinions, and we do keep uh, fighting for our voices to be heard. And this is not going to be a discouragement to that effect. Well, you guys sitting at home watching the show, please write in and let us know what you guys.
let's think based on this particular situation that we are seeing and that we're facing today in this country. We'd like to hear from you. Use the hashtags below. Well, there's some great news for all you basketball fans out there. The NBA is finally here in India. On the 4th and 5th of October, the Indiana Pacers will square off against the Sacramento Kings in Mumbai. This is going to be really exciting. The conversation is continuing online using the hashtag NBA in my backyard. But before we go further, I want to show you guys this little video of the NBA. The first ever NBA India Games, October 4th and 5th, 6.30 p.m. live on Sony 10.1 and Sony 10.3. Well, that's going to be one hell of a game. And for all the NBA fans out there, you can actually get the NBA merchandise on nbastore.in, which is powered by Mintra. And also, do catch the contestants of the Mintra Fashion Superstar in the arena. And uh, Mintra Fashion Superstar is actually the search of the top fashion influencer of our country, which you can catch on Zoom and Mintra anytime you want. <laughs> Well, that's a wrap on the show. Here's wishing you a very happy and fun weekend. See you directly on Monday on Planet Bollywood. This is me, Sagrika Chetri, signing off. And me, Manish, wishing you guys a happy weekend. Uh, but before going, we'd like to remind you to stay tuned into the conversation and we'll read your top comments right here on the show. Until Monday, good night.